So I was, um, go back from someone's house and shut him down the tank. This lived just down the road. But, um, picked up some coral, so we've got that there, and the coral's there. And I originally thought I was just getting this chalice, the Monty, um, hammer, one torch, and this Duncan's. But he gave me some recorders for free, like a lot more torches, another, and another frag of, um, uh, Monty. So I'm gonna dip that in this bucket because this bucket has um, measurements up the uh, side of it, so I know how much water I'm putting into that bucket. So now it's dipped to put in the bucket. Um, yeah, so I'm dipping a little bit at a time. I'll be, I'll probably just dip like all the torches at once because they can touch each other. Then like all the um, chalices and Montes, and then like the hammer, Duncan, and recording last because not enough room to dip um, all of them at once. So, well actually there is, I was, oh never mind. But um, yeah, let's get into that now. So the um, first lot of coral almost done, they got about two more minutes left. And then I'm gonna, let's rinse them off in, um, in this bucket here. I was, yeah, I'll probably rinse them off in here. Cause there's no dip in it. I think, the corals are, I don't know if that's them trying to fight each other with all the slime or that's them trying to protect themselves from when they're out of the water but yeah, so let's be adding the corals in the tank shortly so I managed to get um, all of the other bucket, the, all the corals in the other bucket into this bucket um, without them touching each other which is good and I've got the three large pieces in the tank and so here's the uh, torch coral, the green one a few other little pieces in the um, in the bottom. Um, here's the daisy coral, and this torch coral is like this is under this, this, at the moment. This is the daytime lighting. This is not even like all blues on, so it has like whites and reds mixed in as well. And this thing is just glowing so much. And I don't know how this coral's done it. I don't think the person I bought it off has glued this other bluey green one onto this one here because it, when you look at the base it does not look like there's any glue at all there but it's got two heads of a different colour one and this this torch coral is like it looks so good, it's glowing neon yellow and green, it has purple speckles all over the tentacles, it's not even just like just the tip part it's just like some tips are green, some tips are speckled with purple it looks amazing Alright, so I'll, I'll be back once I add the uh, other corals to the tank. While the um, corals are dipping, I'll just do a quick update on the tank. Um, so the cleanup crew is doing well. The uh, scissor tail goby is doing well, and the whip tail wrasse is doing well as well. Just just down there, um, there's running away. But the whip tail wrasse, um, the whip fin wrasse actually, it hasn't uh, it hasn't come out for a while. It's been hard. It's, there it is again. It's been hiding for about a week, and it's slowly starting to come out. Over the last two days, it's been swimming around um, in the water. Um, and so this torch coral here is doing really, really well. If, if you look at it, like when I look at it, I think it's like two or three polyps, but it's only um, or two or three heads. It's only got one head. And this torch coral down here is doing um, all right. It was originally up there with the other torch coral. But I started to take it off because it wasn't opening too um, too much, and I was wondering if it is like, what was this torch coral stinging it? Uh, so I took it off to test, and it hasn't fixed it. But um, trachophilia. Um, so with that, uh, it had all these tentacles coming out of it. They were like these. There's like a straight, clear tentacle. With all these little um, tiny tentacles coming off it, and I was, um, and I think they were stinging the torch coral, but, um, and it also had what I thought was tissue damage on it, which it does have some tissue damage, as you can see, there, there, um, it's a bit of tissue damage on this side, but, um, and that all came when I got the coral, and it's healing, um, as you can see, it's healing around the tissue damage, but I thought it had more tissue damage on it, but that was. It was just covered in flatworms because I dipped it and about six big flatworms came off it 
and about 10 smaller ones came off it. And they got rid of the tentacles as well, which is the whole reason why I dipped the car. So luckily the tentacles were there, otherwise all these flat ones would have got, um, got into the, uh, or more than, all the flat ones would have got off the coral and got into the tank, potentially. But they didn't, uh, some of them might have, but, um, so they haven't got out of the tank yet. Oh, out of the car into the tank yet. But, um, yeah, in this torch car again, to go back to it, I also re-dipped this as well to test if there was any, um, flatworms on it, but nothing came off it. Um, so flatworms from the track affiliate aren't the problem with the, um, torch coral. And this blasto is loving life. It's doing really, really well. Um, it's got all these baby heads around the edge, which they were there when I got them, but they've about doubled in size since I got the coral. And it's a bit odd because if you look at the heads, they have an orange outline with the blue center. But then this blaster here has, on the camera it looks red, but it's um, like an orangey red outline with a green center. So it doesn't really make sense how that's um, working out. But yeah, other than that, the tank's running well. Um, yeah, well, other than the little torch car, the tank's going well. And hopefully all these corals do well as, um, as well. So I've got all the corals in the tank. And I'm really happy with these cars, especially this, um, I'm here. So uh, that's mine, I've got them all on the sand, apart from this chalice, which I've got up on the, um, uh, rock, which, I've got it there, it's because it's going to be, um, a little, because there's no room on the sand, um, left over. Also, because I'm going to be, uh, cutting that in half, and giving half to, uh, one of my friends. So, uh, Daisy car is looking really good. Come around here, get a better look. But, in this guy's tank, it was huge. It was about double the size it is at the moment. Um, and this Monty looks amazing in this tank. In his tank, it was um, not as neon green, but in this tank, it, it, you can't really see it on the camera too well, but it's like super neon green at the moment. Um, and these recordings that he threw on free, I'm really um, liking them. It's, they're not the most colorful, but I just um, really like them. I don't know why. I just I just do. And here's one of the is a one head green torch that he threw in for free as well. And then I got the uh, uh, uh the I think it's three or four head green torch, the golden Montipora. It looks about as good as it does on the camera as it does in real life. Um, the um two head green hammer as well, no green torch sorry, and this amazing um, hammer coral. And so probably give about 10 minutes, they've been here for about an hour already, um, I'll give about 10 minutes more then I might glue them onto the rocks. And my plan is to put this um, uh, hammer right here on this rock and also when you are um, putting corals onto the rocks you want to take into account what they like, like do they like high flow, high light, low flow, low light, whatever they like. And so here is like a low flow, like medium light area, um, to be perfect for this hammer. And the, uh, all of the torches plan to stick on this rock right here, which is the same like um, medium light, lowish flow. And then the uh, Duncan plan to stick here, which again, it's probably a little bit less light than where the uh, torch cars are going, um, and, but uh, it's, and but less flow than where the torch cars are. The recorder plan is leave where it is, and then the Montes. I might stick this Monty up there, but then this Monty, I'm not too sure. I'll just stick it up here. But I'm probably just putting it there on this. Um, I'll go around the side so you can see it better. On this lip right uh, there is that it would it could shade the rocks over here so if I want to put corals in those rocks it might be a bit of a problem after end up moving the rocks or not having any corals there. Um, but if I can't put it if I um, don't want to decide I'm not gonna put it there, I might stick it to the back wall and try to grow a Montepore off the back wall. And yes that's where I'm gonna place the corals and the chalice is gonna leave where it is. I'm probably gonna leave it there um, after I've fragged it anyway or move it up here. Yeah, so I'll go place the corals and rocks in about 10 minutes and then we'll be back.